your Android phone is running slow than it should, then this video is for you. Welcome to the 10 amazing smartphone hacks that I use to make my phone work faster. These are intended for Android but can also work on iOS too. My name is Wesley and welcome to Ratu Tech. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for weekly videos and how-to guides. The first few methods might be very obvious but they are very necessary so bear with me. Also, I will give two secrets at the end of the video so you might want to watch to the end. And install any app that you never use. This is very simple. Go to the Play Store app, click My Apps, then Installed Apps. Arrange them by last use to get which apps you don't use frequently and the space they are taking, then uninstall those you don't need. Some apps come with the phone known as bloatware apps, which are not easy to remove. So here is a solution. Click on the app info of the particular app. Depending on your Android version, this setting can be different. Clear the data and click on disable. This won't uninstall the apps, but will stop any background activities. Second step is to make sure your phone stays up to date. Obviously, this depends on your phone manufacturer, but it's necessary as it helps prevent malware and fixes bugs that initially were consuming lots of resources from a device. Go to settings and click on system update and do an update if there is any. Also, remember to do a security update if there is any. Also, remember to update individual apps. Open Play Store and click on Install Apps and Update All. These steps help to improve the performance of your phone. The third method is always use light versions of apps. This sounds ridiculous but it saves a lot of battery consumption and less background activity. For example, Facebook Lite, Twitter Lite, these apps can do much favor instead of using the pre-installed. Next step is use static wallpapers and not dynamic or live wallpapers. I know how much you love that video wallpaper, but for the sake of performance, for the sake of your battery, use a static image. This is very simple. Open themes, choose a wallpaper. I'm sure you can get an awesome one. There are tons of opportunities or tons of varieties on the themes app, or just use your photo. Fifth step is to reduce the number of widgets on your home screen. If you have tons of widgets on your home screen, it means most of the phone's resources will be running in the background. So for, the, for better performance, remove these widgets or rather remove them from the home screen. This is very simple. Click or long press on a particular widget that you want to remove and drag it to the upper end of the phone to remove it. Next is to use lightweight launchers. Customizing Android can be really fun but get a good stable lesser power hungry launcher needs time. If you can get a lightweight launcher then that will do. I personally use the stock launcher for Xiaomi Redmi Mini Y12. But you can get one on Play Store. Just try searching lightweight launchers for Android. And I'm, and by there I'm curious. The Microsoft launcher. Damn, it has over 10 million downloads and 1 million plus reviews. I guess it might really do. The seventh step 
is to use a lightweight browser instead of the default Chrome browser. Chrome is notorious for using so many resources when running, and this impacts negatively on your phone speed and battery life. Try using alternatives like Opera Mini, Firefox, or the new Microsoft Edge. Some like Firefox even have separate like versions. One of my favorite is the DuckDuckGo browser, which is less than 13 MB. And by the way, be sure to watch to the end for bonus tips. Can't wait for that part. Next, at times there are apps that are notorious with consuming a lot of battery and resources. And you might want to know which apps are consuming and what amount of resources are they using and at what percentage are they working on. This is very easy. We go to settings and click on battery. This might be different depending on what Android version you are using, but at the end of the day, you get to which apps use what resources. And if you want to keep them, that's a choice you have to make. On this part, you'll see every app and the percentage that it's using. So if you find there's an app that's consuming a lot of power and you rarely use it, then try and installing it. You can also restrict power usage in the background for different apps and different activities. The last step is to speed up or remove animation in Android. For this, you're required to activate the developer mode. Depending on your phone manufacturer, it's always somewhere on the bottom phone menu. Tap, or rather, tap on that build number seven times to activate this. Then search for developer option and try to locate the animation features and turn them off or reduce their timing. This will help speed up your phone and also reduce the amount of resources used in animation. Finally, if these options don't work, then it's time to factory reset the phone. Make sure to do a complete data backup before trying these in order to not lose data. Also, be careful of what you are backing up because at times you might back up everything and while reinstalling your phone just goes back to where it was initially. So maybe it would even be better to just delete factory reset without backing up anything or recovering anything after backing up. So finally, here are the bonus tips. Did you know if you swipe on the address bar when using Chrome, you could change the tabs? I guess you didn't. If you ever suffer from cellular network shortage, turn on and off airplane mode and it, and it will reconnect to the nearest. Or Also, you can check my last video on how to optimize Windows 10 for best performance. Thanks guys for watching. See you around. Peace.